Coming up on In the Works, find out how the Pinellas County Center for the Arts at Gibbs High School is getting young dancers in the routine for a professional career. Meet a PCCA graduate who draws on her training from the prestigious Juilliard School to guide the next generation of dancers in Pinellas County. And we will take a closer look at the economic outlook of a career in the performing arts. Stay with us because more In the Works is coming up. Hello and welcome to In the Works, a show that highlights the very best programs throughout Pinellas County that prepare students for career or college after graduation. I'm Marissa Allen. Each episode will highlight a different career academy, magnet program, or other opportunities for students in the district. Today we're featuring Pinellas County Center for the Arts dance program at Gibbs High School. <laughs> In the 30 years since PCCA's dance program began, countless students have found professional success in the performing arts field. By the time the young dancers reach their senior year, they receive technical training in ballet and modern dance styles. Students who do not pursue dance beyond high school still graduate from the program with skills that can make them competitive in any field. Pinellas County Center for the Arts dance program has been a staple at Gibbs High School for over three decades. Stay, stay, lift those chins and down, smooth arms. And one woman has been there since the start. And I've been here the whole 30 years of the program. I was the first teacher that was hired. Lead instructor Suzanne Pomerantsev teaches students ballet alongside Patricia Page who teaches modern dance. Students also learn dance history, dance performance and choreography, and dance physiology. They like what they do, but it's really when they leave here, go to college or go into a career, and they turn back and they share stories with other people and realize they had the best of both worlds. They, all, they got it all in one spot. The students are in one place and it's very easy then for us to expose them to that level of rigor. Students come to PCCA's dance program for different reasons with different levels of experience. Senior Jalen Williams chose dance, or rather, dance was chosen for him when he was a fourth grade student at Perkins Elementary. I chose dance originally because like my best friend was like, yeah man, let's try it, let's go. I was determined from sixth grade. I was like, I'm already signing my papers, I'm going to camps. Simone Ferguson was drawn to PCCA's dance program despite an hour and a half bus ride from Dunedin each day. I was more interested in art and architecture, so I went to Dunedin High School. But I saw all my friends like dancing, the people I used to dance with, and I was like, well, I want to do that too. So I auditioned and I came second semester of my freshman year. Some students have been dancing their whole lives. Others have had little formal training before they came to Gibbs all leave ready to take on college. 98% of Gibbs' 2013 PCCA graduating class was accepted into the military, a college, or a university. Here we, not only do we dance, but we do the paperwork and like resume building, we do portfolios, we put everything in it, and like college auditions, we prepare for them, so it like helps with everything. I think an accolade of the department is that even though a student may not go on and dance, they go on and they're successful in whatever they choose to do. Students prepare for possible dance careers by competing in statewide and national competitions and are actively recruited by some of the best colleges for dance and dance companies in the country. We have students who have danced in um, just about every major company that there is. My career as a dancer performer um, didn't quite go in the direction I wanted it to and I discovered a passion for teaching and now I get to dance all over the world. I get to go to New York and watch little bits of me dancing on famous stages with famous um, people and getting to tour and those are things that I probably could not have done myself. You're getting opportunities after opportunities to go audition for other majors, their main stages that they have here. So that's one of the plus sides to it. The accomplishments of PCCA's dance program and its students are numerous. 
But instructors say building a young dancer's confidence and passion is what they are proud of most. I love dance because it's me being able to speak without any words, me being able to tell somebody that I might, probably wouldn't be able to say with my mouth. And I can, it's communication on another level and that I might be insecure about something or I might not feel comfortable with something. And through dance, I can always express that without having to open my mouth. All of the students we spoke to plan to pursue dance as a major in college after graduation. PCCA dance alumnus Charlotte Johnson made a name for herself before she even graduated high school. Johnson was accepted into the Juilliard School and awarded a prestigious scholarship to pursue modern dance. After touring with dance companies in New York, she returned to Pinellas County to become the director of the dance program at John Hopkins Middle School. We sat down with Charlotte Johnson to talk about her experience at PCCA and how it shaped her career. In front, back, front. I was always there and so it was just kind of like no question that I would end up going to that school. So it kind of started from that age but then of course um, being here at John Hopkins which back then it was 16th Street Middle School, um, you know it was just like that's the next step into you know, your training, okay, you dance in the community, at a studio, now you're here, and then you go on to PCCA. I believe that what they did for us there, they provided a lot of experiences and exposures. We, we performed a lot. Um, we were out in the community performing a lot. Um, Career-wise, we kept portfolios. We had goals that we needed to set for ourselves. Um, we made sure that we knew how to do applications, how we knew what programs we wanted to go to, researching the programs, researching the different jobs. And together and second and together. I'm very realistic with my students um, because I know um, the rough side of the industry of being in the dance world. You know, it's a lot of rejection. And so just to kind of begin to build a little tough skin, you know, know that you're going to work hard and you're going to succeed no matter what, but there are going to be some moments along the way where you're going to get rejected. That's the hard part is the rejection part because you feel like, man, I've been working so hard. I've been grinding so hard, you know, in class and, oh, you know, and then you don't get the job or you don't get into that school, you know, so you always want to have a plan A, B and C. Yeah, that's one thing. Um, you always just kind of want to hope for the best, prepare for the worst. I was just one of those that just knew, you know. I had no idea where it would take me, what would come of my life dancing, but I just knew that's what I wanted to do at seven. Like, there was no question. And so, if you already have that feeling inside of you of passion about dance, you don't maybe know what kind of dance you want to do, or just go for it, just do it all. You know, encourage your parents to really help you pursue that, you know, get in some classes, get in, you know, try different things out and see, you know, you're gonna find your niche. Johnson toured with Bill T. Jones Arnie Zane Dance Company, Ballet Noir, and Trainer Dance while she lived in New York. Now it's time to take a look at our career profile. Interested in becoming a dancer? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, there are 5,030 professional dancers working in the United States. Dancers make up 4.2% of all performing arts occupations. They earn about an average of $20.83 an hour. That's all the time we have for this edition of In the Works. Don't forget you can check out all of our episodes anytime online at newsroom.pcsb.org or on our Pinellas County Schools YouTube channel. Or you can catch us on the district's TV station WPDS. I'm Marissa Allen. We'll see you next time.